welcome back to my channel. It's great to see you. Today we're going to be learning all about volume. All right, so I'm going to start teaching you about volume by using some Legos and we're going to be looking at different 3D shapes that have different layers. That's kind of the best way to start learning about it. So let's say we have these blocks right here and I'm just going to make a base layer of four blocks. Okay, so I'm gonna put them on here. Okay, so that is my first layer. And I can also call it, like I just called it a second ago, the base. That's an important word to learn as we're talking about volume. Okay, so my base layer is four. If I make this prism taller, so I'm gonna have two layers. Okay, what do you think now? How many blocks is in my shape? Or how many blocks are in my shape? Okay, so you could count, you know, you could say, oh, there's four on the bottom, four on the top, so there's eight total. Okay, you could also do, since we know the base is four, you could do that times the number of layers or the height. Okay, so base times height could be one way you solve this. Now let's make another layer. Okay, so this time how many layers are there? Okay, great. The height is three or the layers are three. So now how many blocks have you used? Okay, you could definitely do the four on the bottom plus the four in the middle plus the four on the top, or you could just simply do base times height. So four times three. What do you get? Okay, great, 12. All right, and I've got another strategy for you. And this formula, instead of base times height, this one is also a good one. It's length times width times height. And I'll show you how they're connected. So you're used to area, which is length times width. And so that's really what you're starting with. You're thinking about the bottom layer, so length, times width, so two times two. Okay, so I'm gonna write that down. Two times two, which makes sense because that equals four. And what did we say was our bottom layer or base? Yeah, four. So this is kind of like just a little shortcut, but really we're thinking about the length times the width at the bottom here. Then times the height, how tall is this shape? How many blocks tall is it? Okay, great, three, it's got three layers. So we're gonna put times three. Okay, and let's see if we get the same answer. On this side, base times height, we got 12. Let's see if we get 12 over here. What is two times two? Oh, and I should mention also that it's impossible to do all of these at the same time, so I just start with the first two. Two times two is four, and then I do that third multiplication. So four times three is 12. All right, yay, we got the same thing. Both strategies work, and both are super helpful. You can kind of just pick your favorite one. All right, let's get back at it with Minecraft. It's another rainy day here, but still a great day for some digging. I'm thinking why not use this as a volume problem? So I'm going to start digging out 
a space here in the dirt. And I'm gonna make it six by seven along the bottom layer. And then I made three layers deep. All right, so a good place to start would be to, on paper or a whiteboard, draw a little quick sketch of the shape, and then we'll be able to plug in some of the information like the length, width, and height. So I like to, to draw a 3D rectangular prism. I like to just start by drawing a rectangle. Okay, then I draw a dot in the middle. And then I try to draw a really closely congruent rectangle that's the same. So congruent means same size, same shape. I'm going to try to make that the, um, the same as close as I can get. And that's going to be the bottom right uh, vertex. So then I'll go up. If it's not perfect, it won't be uh, too bad. Just as close as you can get it. Then I connect all the vertices. All right, and then it looks like, you know, a 3D shape. If you want to erase the inside lines, you could. You don't have to, but some people like to do that. Okay, now it looks like a solid shape. And then we're going to start putting in the dimensions that we were given. So it looks like it was a seven block. I'm going to use a different marker to label. Seven blocks by six blocks along the bottom. And then it was three layers tall. So the height is three. Now we can start thinking about our two different formulas. We can do length times width times height, and we can check out base times height to see what we think. So let's start over here with length times width times height, because we can just kind of stick those in. So we can say six times seven times three. All right, so start with six times seven, see what you get, and then see if you can do the times three. You can pause the video and try it on your own. All right, let's check your work. So six times seven is 42, and we're gonna do that times the three. I'm gonna set that up down here so I can make sure. I don't wanna do all of this in my head because that's a, you know, 42 is kind of a big number, so I don't want to try to do it all in my head and possibly make a mistake. Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. So that means I'm getting 126 blocks as the volume. Okay, let's try base times height and see what we get. So to find the base, we need to think about how it's 6 rows of 7. So what do you think the base is? Okay, the base would be made up of 42 blocks. And then we know that it is three layers tall, so it's gonna be three groups of those. All right, and since we just did that, that's so awesome. We don't need to solve that again because we just did 42 times three and we got 126. Okay, so great job. Either way you chose, you got 126 blocks as the volume. Great job. All right, now we did the hard work of finding the volume. Now I think it's time to fill up this pool and do a little relaxing swimming. Here we go. Ah. Well, all that hard work paid off. There's nothing like swimming in the rain. <laughs> mm. 
Well, it was great to see you. I hope you learned a lot today. I hope you can use these skills in your math class or at home. And I hope to see you next